Hi Church, I'm Jamie McCrindle and I'm from the Chester campus and it's great to be sharing today's devotional with you. So we're going to look at the relationship of Esau and Jacob and I'm going to start off with reading Genesis 33 verse 4. But Esau ran to meet Jacob and embraced him. He threw his arms around his neck and kissed him and they wept. What we're going to do is just have a look that before they actually got to this place of reconciliation, what went on beforehand. Now, Jacob and Esau's relationship had completely broken down. Jacob had taken Esau's birthright and he'd exchanged it for a bowl of stew, which is completely unbelievable. He actually exchanged his birthright for a bowl of stew. And then he also took Esau's blessing from his father Isaac. And he went to some lengths to actually to actually do that. And he actually put on Esau's clothes and he put um, some goat skin around his neck because Esau was quite hairy. And basically he was trying to trick his, his father Isaac. Um, his father Isaac's eyesight wasn't very good and it worked. And he got um, Esau's blessing. Now Esau found out and as you can imagine, he was not happy at all. In fact, he wanted to kill Jacob and Jacob had to run away. Now this is pretty serious stuff. Um, this relationship is not going well um, between two brothers. And let's be quite honest here, Jacob had not been a good brother to Esau and he'd not been a good son to his father Isaac. He deceived both of them. So this situation is pretty bad and it's pretty hopeless, it seems, with no way out. So how did Jacob actually get to a point of reconciliation, as we've just read in Genesis 33, verse 4? Well, there's five points I wanted to raise. The first one is God spoke to Jacob and told him to go back to his relatives and he, and he would be with him, he being God. So God would be with him. That's in Genesis 31, verse 3. So the first point is, wait for God's timing. Do it God's way. The second point is Jacob asked Esau to show him favour. That's give his approval of him. So Jacob asked Esau to give his approval of him. So Jacob was humble. And that's in Genesis 32 verse 5. So the second point is, be humble. And this subdues the anger of the other person. The third point is Jacob prayed and reminded himself and God of his promise. The promise being that God would be with him if he went back to his relatives. So Jacob prayed and reminded uh, himself of this. And that's in th Genesis 32 verse 9. So the third point is pray about the situation. The fourth point is Jacob prepared gifts. Jacob gave something to show that he was serious. And that's in Genesis 32, verses 13 to 15. So the fourth point is prepare a gift, whether it's your time or saying sorry. And the fifth and final point is that Jacob finally met Esau and Esau embraced him. Esau forgave him and he didn't hold a grudge. Now, none of the first four points work if Esau doesn't forgive. So that's this is in Genesis 33, verse 4. So the fifth point is forgive and you don't have to wait for the other person to say sorry. That's really important. So today, do you need to reach out to someone for reconciliation or do you need to forgive someone? Make sure you bring it to God in prayer today. In Matthew 5 verse 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. In a world where people are robbed of peace, we can show people how we're different and where real peace can be found. So today, let's be peacemakers, whatever it takes. Have a great day, church.